Welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to talk about how to model 2D structural frame for a building in AutoCAD 2012. Here you can see some objects, footings, columns and beams. First we are going to model footing. So click on box, box and draw this one. The measurement 0 0.9 comma 0 0.9 and 0 0.025 this is our footing footing is modeled you can see click on here and conceptual this is the mass object next we are going to model our color so click on line and draw this line for this midpoint Next, go to rectangle tool and draw the column. The column size is 300 into 300. So 0 0.3 into 0 0.3. Enter. This is our column. So click this column and move to the center. The drawn. Now we have to model. So click on this box and pick these points. First point second point and draw the height this height is I am going to give 3 meters now then going to delete those objects which are no needed now so I am going to delete those one now our column and footing is created you can see the conceptual view of this column footing Now going to change the top view. So click on this and this is now our top view. Now this object should be arrayed. So click on wireframe and go to array tool. Click on this array and select the object. Enter. Now array is created. We have to change the spacing. So go here and change the spacing between the columns 3 meters. Also same the rows 3 meters. Enter. Now our rows and columns are created in between the space 3 meters. Now it's the time to draw beams. So go to our UCS, then change as front. So click on here, then go to front. So our UCS is changed as front. So click on rectangle tool and draw the rectangle as 0 0.3 into 0 0.3. Our beam size is 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 meters. So click on this move tool and move our object to that bottom. So make sure that 2D snap is on or off. So always on is better. So click on here. Now this side beam is created. So I am going to move 0 0.6 meter above. So now our plane beam is create plane beam level is created. Next another side. So change the side is left and go to same rectangle tool and click this point and make 0 0.3 comma 0 0.3 enter. Now our beam outline is created so click on this move and arrange according to our column. Now two, two side beams are created, uh, two side beams are created so click on extrude and enter go to end. Now it's plane beam, one side is created, another side, so select the object and enter, go to end. The two side beams are created. So you can see, go to the top view, this is our beam, change the wireframe, it's easy to edit. So click on this one and copy to place wherever needed. 
like as another site also same method to place our beam the correct places click on the isometric view you can see our beams are created the correct level now i am going to copy those beams to first floor and upper floor beams so click on copy and make 3 meters for first floor second floor 6 meters so correctly placed our building beams change the view as conceptual you can see the build, building framework is created if you are new to this channel please subscribe me thank you